there are lots of things to love about living in Rapid City. Everybody, it's Tristan Emu with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota, the gateway to the Black Hill. And my past few videos have been reasons you should move to the area. Well, now it's time to talk about the 23 things I love about living in Rapid City. That'd be really easy for me to say the Black Hills, and that's usually the number one thing on everybody's list. But that's no fun. I'm going to break it down. Number one, the lakes, the Black Hills. Now, I'm a Minnesota boy. We lived six miles from a lake, and that was like our weekend religion for a while. And while the majority of our Black Hills lakes are reservoirs, and they don't quite have that beachy feel that you have in Minnesota, and sitting on that private dock, swatting away the mosquitoes as the sun goes down, we do have some amazingly beautiful lakes in the Black Hills. We've been blessed enough to have a boat where we take it, spend the evening just sitting on Pactola, watching the sun go down. Kayaking in some of the smaller lakes, Center Lake, Bismarck Lake, is amazing as well. You can always get your water fix somewhere in the Black Hills. Speaking of water fix, number two are the streams and the waterfalls. Whether it's sitting next to Rabbit Creek on the bike trail or finding a trail next to Black Hills Creek, there's so many relaxing and picturesque moments along a creek. And a lot of times you'll find a number of mini waterfalls along with Bridal Veil Falls, Spearfish Falls, and there's a cool one behind Center Lake at Custer State Park. Number three, hiking. You can be almost by yourself on a Black Hills Trail within an hour and a whole bunch of places. Obviously being a local, you gotta know what trails to avoid that are the busiest ones during the tourist season, but there are a lot of opportunities all over the Black Hills. Number four, biking. Now this is something that we've just started doing the past few years, but biking down the Mickelson Trail has been a lot of fun and a lot of great views, a lot of great things to see along the trail. We also biked Iron Mountain Road this winter, which is a great time to go because the traffic is minimal and we didn't actually bike the whole way up, but it was a lot of fun biking down through the tunnels and around the pigtails. Number five, scenic drives. Whether we're talking about all the colors during the fall or just getting out in the middle of the summer, finding a back road and just taking off, getting away from town, just kicking back and driving down a road. It's a lot of fun just to find a dirt road and see where it goes. In the fall, you've got popular drives such as Spearfish Canyon, Van Arco Road, but my personal favorite is Needles Highway. During the fall, gotta do it. Number six, the wildlife. No matter where you go in the Black Hills, you'll see some deer, you'll see some elk, lots of turkeys. Sometimes you'll see some little rodent looking things called marmots. We love to take my camera with a zoom lens and zoom in on some birds, some woodpeckers, and I've seen a number of bald eagles flying through the air. And let's not forget one of the reasons that South Dakota is famous, and that's those buffalo. Getting stuck in a buffalo jam on Wildlife Loop at Custer State Park. It's just one of the great things about South Dakota. It's also fun to see all those prairie dogs barking in a lot of places in the Black Hills. Number seven, the multitude of winter activities. Now, personally, we aren't huge winter sports people, but the opportunity is always there to go do it. Winter hiking is really amazing. Go on those same hikes that you went on during the rest of the year, during the winter, it's a whole other experience. Plus, we've enjoyed snowshoeing. There's a whole bunch of snowshoeing trails up on Big Hill, but which is near Spearfish, South Dakota. Also up on Big Hill, there are lots of cross-country ski trails and snowmobile trails. That's snowmobiling something I want to do sometime, but just haven't done yet. Plus, you've got Terry Peak for your downhill skiing and snowboarding and numerous ice skating rinks. Number eight is all of these unique Black Hills events. You're burning beetles in January, having outhouse races in February, a bunch of different winter festivals in March, a whole host of things to do in Deadwood every month. If you look, you'll find a cool, unique Black Hills event somewhere every month. Number nine, there's less humidity. Well, at least less humidity than Minnesota. I have some people from Las Vegas and Wolf and say, just try to get used to all this humidity. So it depends where you are. But moving over from Minnesota, where my mom, who was frugal as all get out, always would turn open the windows at night, no matter how hot it was outside. And I woke up with wet sheets and wet clothes. So much nicer out here. You can breathe at night. And a lot of times the air gets cool enough at night to actually go outside. Then you can sit outside in the deck. And number 10, there's fewer bugs here. Of course, we have years where all of a sudden we've got a bunch of box elder bugs. Or all of a sudden we've got a bunch of mayflies or something. But generally speaking, we're not hoarded with mosquitoes like I was in my Minnesota and when I visited my grandparents up in Malta, Montana. Wow, those things were big. Number 11, the winters are a lot milder. Especially this year, we've always had spring all year long. Typically speaking, we hang out in the 20s and 30s, but usually we'll get some snow, that'll melt. We'll get some more snow, that'll melt. And we usually have some kind of respites during the middle of the winter, like January where we have 40, 50 degree weather. And everybody's outside with their t-shirts on because, hey, it's warm outside. Now let's move into Rapid City specific. Number 12 on the list is the Little City 
or the big town, depending how you look at it. It's got a little bit of everything, but not a lot of anything. So you can get everything that you need here in Rapid City, the Best Buy and the Sam's Club and all the things. But some of the choices aren't as great as some of the other areas. And the best thing about all that is the traffic. I was in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. My goodness, that traffic was driving me nuts. And I've heard of this from a lot of other people coming in from other big cities that we have no traffic. Number 13, downtown Rapid City. There's so many things to do, see, and experience downtown. Even just checking out all the unique shops. There's Main Street Square and all the different events going on there year-round. There's the ice skating rink during the during the wintertime. Plus, you've got summer nights where we've got a free band every Thursday night. Number 14 is a couple of things I love to do pretty much downtown. And that's canvas to paint. Get your wife and have a date night. Have a get your family together. Do some painting. A lot of fun. The second is pottery classes. There's a couple places where you can sit down and you can paint some ceramics. Or last month, my wife and I had a pottery throwing session where we actually made, well, we pretended to make, some pottery on the wheel. A lot of, that was a lot of fun. Number 15 is all the plays and concerts going around. There's a couple of local groups doing plays that do an amazing job on those plays. We actually went to a Shakespeare one outside on the park one day. And then there's a variety of music, all sorts of concerts, at the Performing Arts Center and the Monument Civic Center. Number 16 is Christmas time in Rapid City. Downtown, of course, is decked out with all sorts of lights. There's a parade of lights that runs through Rapid City the weekend after Thanksgiving. Storybook Island decorates their entire place with lights. And you can drive around and look at personal lighting displays with the Tour de Lights. In Rapid City. Plus, that's when you see all sorts of arts and crafts fairs, little pop-up shops, and winter markets. Number 17, we've got a bunch of really unique, cool restaurants in Rapid City, as well as some of the, you know, regular ones. Downtown is a lot of the really cool local restaurants that many people really love around town. And we also have a unique selection of other cuisines. There's a Japanese restaurant, a couple of Nepalese, and a lot of Chinese. I'm just going to stick with my stick and potatoes, but there's a lot of options around town, Probably not as many as the big city that you might be used to, but at least we do have some variety for you to experience. Number 18, all the coffee shops. I really enjoy having meetings at Dunn Brothers of the Gap. There's some outside seating there. Pure Bean Coffee is a really cool location downtown. Harriet and Oak actually has a VW bus inside that you can sit in and have your coffee. And that's just a couple of the really cool coffee shops around Rapid City. And that doesn't even count the number of Black Hills Blend drive through coffee shops. Number 19, Rapid City, the city of parks. Down Rapid Creek and along the bike path, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of green spaces. Plenty of places for you to sit beside the water. That's what we like to do. Go running, go biking, go hiking. So many different places to enjoy the parks, enjoy nature, without even leaving Rapid City. Even the Hanson Larson Memorial Trails and Wilderness Park. Great trails for you to walk. You're kind of in the trees. You're not far from town, but you are. And you can never go wrong with County Lake Park, right? Number 20 is the bike path. Whether you like to just take a stroll during lunch or walk a bunch of miles to get your steps in, the bike path is always a great choice. Plus, in the wintertime, they get that thing cleared off pretty good, so it's usually a safe place to walk because chances are your neighborhood, well, your neighbors probably didn't shovel their sidewalk. Plus, there's a lot of opportunity to grab your bike, skateboard, one wheel, whatever, and cruise down the path. Number 22 is all the hiking trails. Still kind of in the hills, not far from town. Already mentioned the two that are in town, but then just a few minutes outside of town, you got Buzzard's Roost, the Flume Trail, the Strider Bowl where the hot air balloons take off, or Doty Springs, all are within a 15-20 minute drive from Rapid City. Number 22, the friendly people. Now I'm the kind of guy that when I'm walking down the trail or walking down the sidewalk, I'm going to look in the eye and smile and nod my head or maybe say hi. And usually most people respond back and say hi, how you doing, that kind of thing. I'm amazed when I go to other places and I try this and the reception isn't quite that way. The business environment in Rapid City, people love to do business with local people, there's that Midwest connection of people being together, just living day by day. And number 23, I left one of the weather ones for last. That is a lot of sun. Now, I know we're not as sunny as Arizona, but on average, we get about 265 days of sun per year, either full sun or partial sun. Usually, if there's a week of clouds, by the end of the week, we're like, what's going on? This doesn't feel right. Usually, we'll get a lot of that beautiful sun, bright blue skies, even when it's 10 degrees outside. Leastwise, the sun will be shining, the skies will be blue. I know other people that are living in areas that are overclassed for the majority of the winter. I just, I, no, I just can't imagine that. I love how much sun we get in the Black Hills area every year. I'm sure you've got other reasons you love living in Rapid City and the Black Hills. What are your favorites that I didn't talk about? Let me know in the comments below. If you love this video, make sure you check out this playlist with a bunch of videos of our Black Hills playground. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And remember, you live.